This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hello everybody, welcome to another week of what came out at Miniature Market this week. Well, we had a lot of stuff, and starting with last Friday, we're going to go all the way to today, which is 11-10-2017. Boy, can you believe that Thanksgiving is only a couple of weeks away? And in two weeks, there's the big holiday sale here at Miniature Market, so you're going to want to be interested in that. But let's get going, and enough about that, and we'll talk about other things later. Last Friday, a game, uh, uh, an expansion came out that I was really excited about, and that's Dungeon Saga Eye of the Abyss. Now, this kind of ties in with the Kings of War um, uh, uh, epic story that they've been telling and they've decided to add some of the heroes into this and this really is for me pretty fascinating and I'm lo really looking forward to getting this expansion and taking a look at it. From Games Workshop Shade Spire came out with two new factions uh, the Orcs and the Undead and some more cards to go with that. Um, this game is really, really, really getting a lot of good buzz, and I think it's it's going to turn out really, really well in the long run. Uh, you know what they really need? They need some more terrain pieces, too. That would be kind of cool, so you can really make it kind of epic. Um, Last Night on Earth had its 10th year anniversary edition come out. Now, this is the game with... A bunch of expansions there's no nothing upgrades or anything like that but it does come all in one neat box and I think it's something that's pretty interesting to be honest with you also a, a game that I'm kind of on the fence with is empires uh, two to ten players uh, takes anywhere from 30 to uh, 45 minutes to play um, just didn't really have anything that really held any kind of interest for me. Now that's me, but you know, definitely check it out if it's something you think it's something that will fit you. Uh, Legends of the Five Rings had an expansion to come out. Now they've been doing a great job with this. I really like what they did with Legends of the Five Rings. Uh, the cards are beautiful. They've done a great job. Um, and if you're going to go with this, uh, they're going to be coming out with tons of expansions. So hooray for Fantasy Flight on that one. <clears throat> Mansions of Madness, also another expansions for Mansions of Magne uh, Madness. Streets of Arkham looks really nice for the second edition. If you enjoy that, which I enjoy it a lot, uh, I think you'll really enjoy this expansion. We've got this coming as well. Mountains of Madness. Mountains of Madness finally released today. A matter of fact, if you look uh, on Friday, it, you'll see it there. Uh, this was a big hit at, um, at Gen Con this year. I've seen a lot of people playing it, a lot of good buzz about it. Uh, people really enjoyed playing this game. I think uh, uh, get your hands on it if you haven't got it. Uh, it's at a great price. I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, we had a bunch of War Machine releases. This game just keeps on kicking out new figures all the time. Pirateer Press really pressing and pushing out the War Machine. If you love War Machine, you're going to love some of these, these figures. They're really nice looking, as you can see right up over there. Bolt Action uh, came out with a, a couple expansions as well. They're always adding something very cool. I think... Uh, those of you that are bolt action fans, maybe you're not a bolt action fan and you are a Flames of War fan. Well, guess what? They did that too. They came out with a bunch of stuff. Um, Conflict 47 came out with the Japanese army. So uh, take a look at that. Really, really neat type of thing. Some people can compare it a lot to Dusk. I think it's, it's good on its own and I think... Uh, uh, really fits in because it it, it really is bolt action uh, on steroids, and I, I really like it a lot. I think it's very, very good. Scythe uh, had some resource packs. If you're able to get those, they really make a difference when you're playing the game instead of using the things that came in the box. I found that, that we really have a good time when we, when we play with all the resources and the miniatures painted up. 
you know, I like my things pimped up. What can I say? That's why, you know, anytime I see kind of any kind of anniversary edition of something, I'm the first one to go grab it. Uh, Exodus Fleets. Now, this, it's, you're bidding for crew um, uh, to assign to your ship and everything like that. I, and it, it, you know, I, I just don't, for me, it's not something that I would play. But um, looking at it, it, it looks interesting, but it's, it's just not enough for me. That's my personal opinion. But I, I'll have to say this much. It really looks like it has some good components. If you like quick games, this just might be the thing for you. Uh, Plastic Craft came out with a bunch of buildings. Now, a lot of you miniature guys out there, like me, always are always trying to improve your scenery uh, they came out with some really beautiful beautiful buildings and i i think uh if you take a look you can pick and choose and you can find some really really good things there gill ball the alchemist came out with a pack uh i believe it's the plastic pack of of their figures um nice little box set reasonably priced um i played gill ball with sam and 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 for us we like the game. It just if if you're a Blood Bowl fan, hey uh, GW, if you're listening, we need more. We need more teams. A lot more teams, please. Uh, Guild Ball though, um, it's it's still going strong. They're doing a great job with it. Uh, they're supporting it well. I just like to see more to it. Um, we just kind of felt that after we played, we were just kind of like, mm, okay, and that's pretty much how we left it. Eminent Domain, which is a great, great game uh, for those of you who like it. They come out with a combo pack. You definitely want to check this out. If you don't have it, you may really, really want this. Um, uh, if Maybe if you just have one or the other, I think the combo pack works out real well. It gives you everything that you could possibly need to play this game. This is a, a very, very, very good game. And for that 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 was a pretty quiet week uh, queen domino came out uh looks really good i liked king domino so i know i'm gonna love queen domino um just a, a great game that whole thing is just taking off and is doing very very well and i think they're doing a great 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 job with it um so it comes to the part where i pick my game of the week and i have to cheat a little bit because i kind of got to go to friday because we filmed on thursday and we released on friday so this is like friday to friday now <laughs> so if there's anything that comes out later today well guess what i will make sure that i put it in there but i'm going to go with a game that is in my top 20 another expansion for it as much as i killed this company for poor quality and everything like that they are supporting this game and they are doing a great job with it and that's dungeon saga eye of abyss the more i add to this game the more i love this game this is a just great great game if you don't have it get your hands on it all the expansions add so much to the game uh and, and the replayability is just ridiculous on it uh, they're constantly adding different figures and stuff like that and just having that those bookshelves all nice and lined up you know you just want to keep on adding up until you have an entire library but my pick of the week is definitely dungeon saga eye of the abyss uh kings kings of war uh was was something that i or is it war kings i, I get so mixed up between the two of them because cool mini or not has one and the other one has the other one but um it, it's a game that i've kind of stayed away from them actually i've stayed away from both of them um i think because they're they're really starting to come on with the games workshop stuff but but by them adding and trying to introduce you through this expansion maybe to that world maybe it kind of leads you over into that game so we'll just have to see how that all pans out well another week done can you believe it i certainly can't uh we just keep on racking them up and putting them together 
So, what comes out next week? I'm sure a lot of great stuff, but you'll find that I will break it down for you here the best I can. And until next week, this is your old pal Rob. We'll catch you later. And be sure to check all the cool things out at Miniature Market. Until next time, we'll see you.